Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make a fruit salad for breakfast with an ice cream on top. Today is a cherry, is the main character here, and a papaya. So I make a, cher a papaya cherry salad. So a small amount of papaya, that's half a small papaya, that's why I have this amount. And uh, the rest of my cherries here, beautiful, delicious cherries, there's more than two cups. So that's the cloud, clearly the main ingredient. And then what I wanted to do, and the third one here is a banana. That is a so-called, in my, in my view, a neutral element. When you have a fruit salad, sometimes there's too much happening. And the banana brings it down to a minimum. It's an ingredient that's almost neutral. I like it in many fruits, so to make it more filling, to bridge the uh, strong characters of the other ingredients. It is soft, it is white, it is sweet a little bit, not too much, it's right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, um, and I make a, a dressing, very simple also. I don't want to have too many ingredients, and I don't want to, um, I want to not uh, to, um, to bring too much uh, in front of the cherry flavor. The cherry is really front and center, it's a, such a fascinating fruit. Yeah. Uh, a dressing is just you know simple cashew dressing with bananas. Here are two bananas. That's of, oftentimes how I begin. That's two cups maybe, and uh, half and a third cup of cashews. It's, it's, don't need that much. Small amount of cashews. Give it a little bit of silk and creaminess. So nice with the banana cream and the nuts. They get silken, silky, nice. And uh, just three dates and half a lemon yeah, to keep it a little bit fresh. And the lemon here, just to keep it a little bit fresh, the color the, the, doesn't get too brown. The bananas, you blend bananas, they turn brown, it oxidates. With a little lemon, it takes, takes more fresh, pretty more fresh. And, the, and the, the dates are more to, to balance the sour flavor of the lemon. Oh, but on the other hand, the lemon also supports beautifully, supports the banana flavor. Banana and lemon is a dream team. Yeah. Banana has a very simple flavor, but when you look closer, there are many, many flavors in bananas. There are also a bitter and tart flavors from the peel and so in the flesh. And the lemon brings it forth, makes it a little more yeah, transparent. It's nice. Um, I like banana and, and, and lemon together. Very nice. A little bit of water to get the blender going and start blender dance. <laughs> First, break the cashews down, the dates, and now they soak. And I taste it. Yeah, nice. Not a very expressive, like a lemony cashew cream, lemon zest, and so stronger. This one is more just the background, like the neutral bananas in the, in the cherry salad. So it sits for a moment. It doesn't take long once the cashews are broken down, they soak very fast. And then I blend a second time to get the perfect texture. Now the cherries. Yeah. Oh, they're so delicious. Right now in summer, and lucky that we have summer. I remember a summer that was very rainy, and then they say the cherries don't come. Yeah. <laughs> so lucky today, and bananas are so nice with cherries. So they are neutral, but they are so wonderful with cherries. I don't know why, maybe because they are neutral and allow the cherries to take all the space. I don't know, it's wonderful. And the papaya is a very um, uh, lasting, yeah? it's, a, it's an ingredient very special. Right? You can eat a papaya and be full, that's all. Like a mango too. Yeah. Um, but uh, persimmons have the same, yeah? this, this kind of texture, fiber, the fiber, certain kind of fiber that makes you full. It has a wonderful texture and the papaya has also such a perfect texture for making you full. can be a whole meal, but can also be, um, has also a, a very uh, um, significant flavor. It is a, 
has this papain. It's an enzyme that can digest proteins, a very special flavor, and you want to be careful with other ingredients like cashew nuts, for example. There's only a small amount here. The other ingredients, the bananas and the cherries, are very much in the foreground. The papaya is only a little bit, and in this case, I would say just a cup of papaya. In this case, um, the cherries, uh, the, the, the cashews won't, won't interfere with the papaya. They're not in the foreground. If I have our only papaya salad, I would hesitate to put a cashew dressing on top because the cashews are not so nice together with these kinds uh, of enzymes, like in a, also kiwi or um, pineapple, very strong, with such an enzyme, with protein digestion enzyme, enzyme. They are very healthy for digestion and so, but they can interfere with other ingredients. So, uh, whether the small amount, that's okay. Look at the beautiful colors here. Yeah, very nice. That's, uh, that's the main part of fruit salad to me, the colors. Fruit have these immensely these beautiful colors. Doctors also say, eat your rainbow eat the rainbow because they say all the colors we should eat them in the food because they are so important the nutrients that colors are nutrients yeah they have also names they have many many different names for that and um, we should eat them the red the green the blue what else orange yellow <laughs> yeah black one more blender test <laughs> gentle sweet and sour it's yeah, yeah. dancing a little bit the lemon and the dates and bring the banana up it's really nice dressing ah, look at it oh, yeah, blend a little bit more you know one more blending I just have the aftertaste it could be a little bit more um, um, creamy yeah. a little bit short one more time sorry Space also begins in the front and goes in the end. And some some tastes but are behind, some are in the front, and sometimes it um, takes some time before <laughs> the message is through. Oops. Yeah. Now it's soft. There was something hard in that flavor. Something not ready. All. All has its time, right? You just look at the dressing. It is creamy, it's a thick creaminess, I like that. And it allows also the, these nice colors to shine through. Uh, that's important to me, the visual. Uh, when um, I have, for example, a red or an orange dressing, it's a whole, whole different character of the whole fruit salad. So then everything is dominated by this color. Whereas the white, this uh, banana color or cashew color, it's very easy. You know, it, it, it allows the other color, other colors to play. But once you have a red, a whole red dressing, or when you have, a, think, think about a, a beet, beet color, very strong color, other colors vanish behind that color. You don't see anything else. You really, when you have this kind of color. And that's why the white color for the dressing, first I thought, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. But I noticed more and more. And now, colors come out more and more important for me as a chef. When I create my food, my recipes, I very much look at the colors first. Because in the end, there is a saying that we eat with the eyes first. And somebody asked me on Facebook, and that, is a, that is a myth, right? You don't eat with the eyes, right? I said, yes, 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 you're right, we don't eat with the eyes, but um, I wanted, wanted to know why this, why this um, is so important. Um, this saying, I always liked that. Yeah. I look at my food 
and if I like it, I want to eat it. <laughs> and then I taste it, of course, and that is, of course, more important. Yeah, sure. Um, but then I found a, a documentary. It was so interesting. Ha! Um, that, that said that, that the human beings have evolved in the evolution, yeah, and they have changed their body, and at some point they got the ability to see red colors. Because the eyes have not always been, if that documentary was right, have not always had all the, um, the instruments in the eyes to, to see all the colors. So imagine if you only eat, see green, so you would always look for, for leaves, yeah, greens. Then you eat mainly greens. There are no animals that, that look do that. Yeah, the cow eats greens usually, and other animals. And since we are able to, to see the red color, then begin to eat fruit. <laughs> so, if that is true, I mean, for interesting story, it would make it correct that we eat with the eyes first, right? Yeah. So, interesting thing. So, now I have my fruit set ready. It's a beautiful fruit set, you see. The white color makes it possible to, to watch everything there, to see it. And they all look different. I make a new recipe every day. Always have the variety and see. And now I put an ice cream on top. Very simple again, also the cherries should be in the, in the center. So I make a banana ice cream. Here are the bananas. Yeah, not yet, because they should be frozen. Frozen bananas. I get them in the, off of the freezer in a second, I come back. <laughs> frozen bananas, slices. I always slice the bananas and then freeze them. Yeah. And I can take out a certain amount. Not easy with whole bananas. And the frozen bananas can be easily processed into a so-called blitz ice. I call it blitz ice cream. It's, it's not correct. Blitz ice on the street, usually. <laughs> but I call it blitz ice because in Germany, some, some chefs in, in, in the TV, they said, oh, they blitz ice. Oh, that's only blitz ice. <laughs> I love that <laughs> because it's now the best ice cream to me. You can refine it with nuts and so, can it be creamy and so. It's super. And the food processor with the S plate, that is such a cool tool makes the right, scream right away, and um, here, with the banana is the original of this, yeah, the nice, the so-called nice cream. How to make it? Just put the bananas into the, into the uh, processor, and I always make sure that they are single. When in the freezer, they stick together, and they're in lumps all, 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 oftentimes, and then it's not that easy to, to get them um, in the, to process them. So better when they are single, like this. And what I want to refine, I put a little bit of date mousse and half a lemon juice here. Half a lemon, and a, well, a large lemon, and two or three tablespoon date mousse. Uh, how to make the date mousse, I show you in another video. You'll find the link under this video, it's easy. Just blend dates with a little bit of water. And for a week or so, um, I have then my, my date mousse ready. And I make a new one, new batch. Uh, not too much because turn sour at some point, so a week is okay. But it's nice for the ice cream, for example, here, you can make it like this. Yeah. And um, you can put dates in here, yeah? and then you, the ice would be melt, molted, uh, melted when, you, when you get it out. So let's see, I've got to run now. Always check the time. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, when I do it too long, there are piece there there that melts. The, the ice cream melts. When I do it too shortly, then there are pieces in the ice cream. So in between, I have to care a little bit for the time. But this looks amazing. I just need to. The texture looks perfect. I just need to take out the blade now. I need the, the S blade for this. When I make the ice cream in the blender, it melts. Yeah. But now I can make these beautiful scoops. One of my favorite toys, <laughs> the ice scoop. And I put the ice cream on top of my fruit salad. 
And really, it's it's like magic. I always I always try to find breakfast breakfast ideas that are um, lasting, and I don't have to eat again that soon. So I I was surprised when I found this with the ice cream on top in summertime. You know, perfect summer ice cream uh, breakfast uh, because. Um, it is so uh, uh, lasting, you know, when you have a fruit salad with the ice cream on top. I eat it. I'm totally happy. Don't eat anything else. <laughs> I don't know why uh, food lasts or not. Of course, the nutrients first. The variety also very important. If one thing is lacking, a protein or so, then you have hung hungry soon. But another thing and it seems to be so important to me is the variety of, um, of the ingredients, the colors and everything. Uh, like the ice cream makes such a difference on top. Yeah. Just bananas here in this case, and I'm sure it will be a super nice breakfast for some time to go. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Now I have to run, otherwise, you know, <laughs> thanks again. And if you like, like my video, subscribe, and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day for endless vegan variety. Right? Let's celebrate the nature, the plentiness. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.